if you think it might be time to hire a virtual assistant, but you aren't sure you're ready, you are in the right place because I'm going to help you break it down. And my last tip might really surprise you. Hey, I'm Jen Lehner. I'm a digital marketing and systems strategist, and I help solopreneur small businesses, coaches, authors, and course creators scale their businesses exponentially and quickly by outsourcing the smart way. So the first thing that might be a signal that it's time for you to hire someone is that your business is growing. What a wonderful reason to need to hire someone. Your business is growing. How wonderful. But it's critical that you do this sooner rather than later. And here's why. Okay. So it's like this. You've got customer one and customer two. And everything is going along beautifully. And with customer number one, you're spending about 12 hours a week. And on customer two, you're putting in about 15 hours a week. And so right here, you've got 27 hours a week just in customer one and customer two and all the work that goes into that. So for customer one, let's say we're just going to make it very simple. We're going to say you're consulting. Okay, so actual consulting is only... Uh, two hours a week, okay? Um, and, and we're gonna say the same for customer two, two hours. But what else do you have to do for customer two outside of consulting? Well, you've got to do your research before you consult with them. So that's several hours, five hours of research. Um, then you need to prepare materials and then you need to send them emails to remind them about appointments and you have to send them an invoice and then you have to answer their phone calls and on and on and on it goes not to mention in order to get customer one you had to do a bit of marketing so you're maintaining everything is going fine but lucky for you customer two raves about you to four people now you have four more new clients and we could just, this is going to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. And, grow. and pretty soon, these this 27 hours, it's just not sustainable. You, this becomes 70 hours a week, whatever, you name it. But the point is, you're going to hit a ceiling. Better you have help before when you're here at customer one and customer two, starting to create systems. So every single thing you do for customer one, all this stuff, wait, all the marketing, and the invoicing and the emails and the preparing the materials that can easily be systemized and handed off to your new VA. So now you're spending much less time on each with each customer and you have plenty of room now to grow when customer one and customer two sing your praises and send you all this new business. Another really obvious sign that it's time to hire someone is that you're getting burned out by routine tasks and you aren't seeing your family as much as you would like to, and you might not be taking care of yourself as well as you should. You're not going to the gym like you used to. You're not taking those long walks. And you're really just not having much fun. There's not a lot of room left for joy in your life. Another telltale sign that you're ready to hire someone is that you're missing opportunities. Sure, you're doing great. You're making money. You're super busy. But what about those really exciting opportunities that come across your desk that you just can't jump on because your hands are tied to your the work that you're in at the moment. Maybe someone has asked you to speak at their conference or to collaborate on some cool project. For me, I know I was, before I hired my first virtual assistant, I was working so hard creating an online course and I was spending hours and hours, 12, 14 hours a day building this course and then marketing this course. And right about the same time, Periscope hit the scene and Meerkat live streaming, which was a huge revolutionary thing in the world of digital marketing, which is my playground. That's my wheelhouse. But I couldn't jump in and be at the forefront of teaching it and really building my audience there. Eventually I did, but I missed a huge opportunity being early on the scene because my hands were tied and I didn't have any help. And lastly, and you might find this controversial, but here's what I think about hiring a virtual assistant as it relates to you, wherever you are in your business. And that is, if you're a business, if you're a real business, you must have help. And I think 
it's not a terrible idea to do this right from the get-go. What crazy you say, I, you, Jen, you're talking crazy talk, <laughs> but I'm not because when we start a business, there are certain things we don't even think twice about. We buy the domain and we get the website and we get the Wi-Fi and we get the business cards and we might even rent office space like I have here, but hiring help, what? Well, let me ask you this. When the restaurant owner opens up the new cafe, is that person, the chef and the host and the person that does the marketing and the person that serves the food? Of course it isn't. So why would we think that we could come in and do that thing, that thing that only truly that we can do, that, that sets us apart, that was our vision from the beginning, that helps, that's going to make an impact, that thing, how can we do that thing when 80% of everything else is running the business, is doing all the admin stuff? Why did we think we could do that and also be as successful as we wanted to be. It really just doesn't make sense. It's just not logical. So a little bit controversial, I know, but I think most of us are ready almost near the very beginning. We just don't know it. So let me know in the comments, do you think you're ready? Have you already hired a VA? I'd love to hear about your experiences. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like and subscribe so you never miss another training. See you next time.